Pretty sunny, but pretty quiet. Some industrial grade rat traps, I see. For the wharf rats, I guess. like the fishing pier is up ahead and the grandiose and gigantic convention center stuff. That's the World Trade Center. Yes, we have one too. It's just tiny. And no one flew an airplane into it. Oh, there's the big grandiose convention center. It's trying to be like Sydney. That's looking back towards downtown proper. Looks like we have some kind of boat hook relic. And then our turn. So we go from the funny toy sculpture crane to the large actual ones that are building stuff here. This is being touted as the innovation district. The boosterism in Boston takes on many interesting and ridiculous characteristics. A lot of yachts, I see. A whole lot of yachting going on. This is one of those sort of interactive mnemonic sculptures. See, you can move it around. And then there's this heap thing that I suspect is a sculpture. It's just sort of hard to figure out. Kind of an easy job. 
represent a heap. And so they did. There's some kind of pipe in jazz. <laughs> More admonitions against segways. And there's even rented bike stuff from Hubway. Yeah, there doesn't seem to really be a concert going on. <laughs> Another place that's had it with poachers, geez. No pets allowed on the green. center thing. It does look like Harbor Walk is at least sort of dog welcoming. Here's a thoughtfully provided mutt mitt. <laughs> I wonder how the mutt mitt industry is doing. This particular bit of Harbor Way gets a name. Vivian and Alan Hassenfield. Oh, this is the ICA, okay. Good Lord. The Institute of Contemptuous Farts. <laughs> Making Boston mediocre forever. Actually, only since the 70s. One of the great mediocritizers. The Gang of Four or whatever that just all but assures that Boston will be a slappy happy backwater insofar as anything compelling is concerned. We like cute around here. So that's good to know. A lot of glass I see. Pretty expensive thing. <laughs> You're joining along with me in my ignorance as I attempt to make sense of this area I ordinarily avoid like a plague. <laughs> 